Hi and uh, welcome back to another lesson. In today's lesson we are going to be learning about how to freeze panes or we call them columns or rows which I will discuss with you shortly. In, so how to freeze panes in Excel. Is it possible to freeze a row and column at the same time? And can you freeze multiple rows and columns at the same time? So in today's lesson, we will be learning a lot of interesting stuff regarding freezing panes. Here we are. Um, let's have a look at today's question before we start learning. So the question of the day is simply asking us to freeze rows 1 and 2 on this worksheet. So it's referring to the mileage worksheet. We'll be using this one as the example. So I repeat, freeze rows 1 and 2 on this worksheet. Okay, so let's have a look at the mileage worksheet. Now before I start uh, showing you how to freeze panes or rows and columns, let's have a quick chat about what this actually means. Now here's a lovely spreadsheet or worksheet we have been working on together from the last few lessons. Now if I scroll down, I'm just going to use my scroll bar on the mouse or you can use the, use the scroll bar here on the right hand side. I'm going to scroll down. And just pay attention to these headings at the top. Now as I scroll down, everything disappears because naturally everything just scrolls down. That's what I'm ask, um, asking Excel to do. So Excel is doing, quite frankly, what I'm asking it to do. But let's say my spreadsheet was very long and I've got a lot of data going down. But I don't want these headings to be hidden as I scroll down. I want them to be visible always at the top so that when I scroll down, it makes more sense in terms of it makes sense as to what these um, labels are and what these numbers are representing, i.e. you can tell right now on the screen that distance um, is what these numbers are and the destination is what these um, these uh, names are. So when I scroll down the headings disappear. Now if I was working on a very big spreadsheet I would have to maybe guess what these numbers mean or what these labels are representing. So wouldn't, wouldn't it be a great idea if we somehow managed to freeze these two rows at the top so that they remain static as I scroll down. That's what freezing panes is actually referring to. So let's put it in action. So the first thing we are going to do is answer the question because the question is simply asking us to freeze row one and two on this worksheet, which is quite a simple question to be honest. So let's have a, let's go back on the mileage worksheet. Now there is row one and two. If you want to freeze row one and two, it is very important that you have the third row selected. Now you can either select the entire row or you can simply click on A3, it doesn't matter it will do the same thing. I like to select the entire row, so I'm going to click on row number three. And once you have done that, all you do is go to the ribbon that says view or the, or the tab, view at the top. And in the window, in the group call window, you will see the option here for freeze panes. Now that word, the word panes, I just want to explain a little bit before we move on. The word pane simply means a section, an area of a particular thing. So in this case, it's referring to a section of your worksheet. That's all it means, nothing technical. Uh, or you can refer to in the worksheet, you can just call it rows and columns. 
because a spreadsheet is all about rows and columns. Every cell is part of a column or is part of a row. Okay, now that we've understood this, it'll make more sense when we use the word or the term panes. So freeze panes, this is where we need to go. So I click on there and I get three options. We'll discuss these two in a minute, but the first one that says freeze panes with an S, which is a plural, which is referring to more than one. In this case, I do want to freeze more than one because I want row number one and row number two to be frozen. So I'm going to select the top one. Let's see what happens. Okay, nothing really um, happened visually. It hasn't really given me any kind of indication, but when I move my selection, selection of row number three, it should be more visible to you. Let's have a look. Okay, now there is actually a line all the way down row number two. Can you see that? If you can't, when I scroll down, maybe this will help you as to what has just happened. Let's have a look. I'm going to use the scroller on my mouse to scroll down. Ah, very nice. You can see row number one and two is actually frozen. It's static. It's not moving as I'm scrolling down. It's like it's eating, in, eating into the data that's underneath. Now, isn't that great? Wouldn't that make your life so much easier, reading data of a very big spreadsheet? I mean, this spreadsheet I'm using only as an example is pretty small, but you could be working with huge spreadsheets that contain um, hundreds of pages that goes down. So wouldn't you like to have these headings frozen at the top? I'm sure you would. Your life would be a lot easier. Okay, so we've actually answered the question of the day, um, which was asking us to freeze row one and two on this worksheet. So as you can see, we have frozen row one and two. Um, the visual indication is that line. And if you scroll down, you can see that row number one and two is not scrolling down because we have just frozen it. Now, I want to show you a few more things um, I know it's not part of the question, but it was part of our learning. If you remember, um, the, the learning of today was, is it, is it possible to freeze a row and a column at the same time? And also, can you freeze multiple rows and columns at the same time? So I'm going to show you these two points. So to demonstrate this, the first thing I'm going to do is take off the freeze panes because I don't want to have row one and two frozen. So to unfreeze, all you do is go back to freeze panes and simply select unfreeze panes and this will get rid of um, the freeze. Now if I scroll down, you can see row one and two is no longer frozen. So the question was that can you freeze rows and columns at the same time? The answer is yes, you can. Let's say I want to freeze column A and row one and row number two. So what you have to do, this is a nice little trick, what you have to do is make sure that you, that you click on cell B3. Because by clicking on B number three, you're telling Excel to freeze anything that is to the left of the cell, which in this case is column A, column A is to the left, and anything that is above this cell, which in this case is row two and row one. Now, once you've got this cell selected, all you have to do is go back to the original option here for freeze panes and again select freeze panes. By doing so, now you can see there's a line going straight down here 
and there's a line going straight under row number two. So after column A and row number two. Now if I scroll down, I can see um, row one and two is frozen. And if I use the scroll bar to go left and right, let's see what happens to column A. Now column A has been frozen. Can you see? Column A is not moving. Every other column, B, C, D, etc., are scrolling to the right, but column A is not because I have frozen column A and row 1 and 2. And these are the uh, visible lines that are telling you, or they are the indicators telling you that this is the panes or the columns and the rows you have selected, you have frozen. Now, that's a wonderful thing, don't you think? Now, I'm going to show you that is it possible to freeze multiple rows and columns at the same time. So, again, I'm just going to unfreeze before I start. Now, to answer this question, it's actually very similar to what I have just done. You can, sell, you can freeze however, mon, however many columns or however many rows at the same time that you want. All it depends on is where you select, which cell you select. For example, let's say I want to select um, um, column A, B and C and rows um, 1 to 13. 1 to 13. So I repeat. I want to freeze row 1 all the way to 13 and I want to freeze column A, B and C at the same time with a single click. All I have to do is make sure I have selected this cell because by selecting this cell, I'm telling Excel again to freeze every, every row above it. So in this case, it's going to be 13 all the way to 1 and every column to my left. So in this case, it's going to be column C, column B, and column A. Let's have a look. So again, in uh, view tab or, or, or ribbon, and then go back to freeze panes and select freeze panes again. And look at the line. The line is your indicator. So I've got a line going straight down here, and I've got a line going straight across here. If I scroll down, first of all, you can see all the way to 13 is not moving, but anything underneath, if you have a look at these numbers, it will make more sense to you. Um, everything else is scrolling down, but all the way to 13, it's been frozen. Now let's have a look at the column. Remember A, B and C I have frozen. This is the line for your indicator. This is what's telling you which columns have been frozen. So if I scroll across, you can see um, everything after C is moving but A, B and C is not moving. So that's how you select multiple um, rows and columns at the same time in Excel. Another thing or a couple more things I want to show you about freezing panes, which will conclude everything you need to know about how to freeze panes in Excel. First of all, I'm going to unfreeze all the panes. Now, let's say I just wanted to freeze the top row of this worksheet. If it's the top row only, it doesn't matter where you click to begin with. I can click anywhere, any cell on this worksheet. It will not make any difference whatsoever because there is a lovely option for that. So I'm just going to click uh, just here. But I want to freeze row number one. Once I've clicked anywhere on the worksheet, I go back to freeze panes and I have a lovely option here that says freeze top row. So I'm going to click on this. And look what it does. It only freezes the top row. You can see the line under row number one. As I scroll down, you can see row number one is frozen, but everything else remains unfrozen. So that's how you can freeze just the top row. And then in a similar 
similar way, if, I, if you wanted to only freeze the first column, in this case column A in this spreadsheet, you do a similar stuff. Again, it doesn't matter where you click on this worksheet. So I'm just going to click some, somewhere randomly just down here. This time, go back to freeze panes and I can select the option that says freeze first column. Now it has put a line straight down after column A. Now if I scroll across, let's see what happens. You can see column A is frozen, but everything else is just moving across. Now that's everything you need to know about how to freeze panes. I hope you've uh, understood everything we have discussed um, in this lesson because this is a lovely feature which will save you a lot of energy having to go um, up and down um, up and down your page just to see what the labels are at the top or even if you have a very wide spreadsheet and you want to know the headings of of what uh, what it is inside column a um, such as this, you want to know the names of the destinations. If you don't freeze the cells, you will have to constantly scroll back or, or left and see the name or look at the names of the destinations. So by freezing panes, it makes your scrolling so much easier and also to read your data, you can do it um, so easily. So this concludes um, this lesson. So I hope you've enjoyed it and learned everything you need to know about how to freeze panes. So please do like and share this lesson and I hope to see you over in the next lesson. Until then, take care and goodbye.